Okay. I wish to introduce Sade Cruz. I understand you're a recent graduate from South Kingstown High. Yeah. And you're the younger sister of Candace Hazard and the daughter of, of oh boy. I'm freezing on names, but anyway. Susan. I'm yeah. sorry? Susan. Yes, daughter of Susan Hazard and the granddaughter of, of Bishop Wallace Hazard. Yeah. And you're related to Avis Hazard too. You're a cousin, right? Okay. Anyway, yeah, I did want to ask you some questions about growing up in South County. Uh, what are your most pleasant memories of growing up here? I guess going to the beach a lot or just kind of going, to, I used to go to the guild a lot to okay. as a child. So I guess that's really a fond memory or one of my fond memories of growing up here. Okay. Can you think of uh, others? Maybe. Hmm. Growing up here was, is honestly kind of fun, at, well, was kind of fun as a child. Um, there were a lot of things to do. Um, there were more um, activities school-wise than right. our high school-wise, but I, I had a blast growing up, honestly. Okay. Okay. And what are some of your memories that aren't so pleasant? Um, when I was in elementary school, actually, um, I would be teased for my hair because I had curly hair. And there was this one um, girl at school who wouldn't play with me because my hair wasn't straight. Okay. So I would, yeah, I would um, damage my hair by straightening it a lot so I could fit in and play with these girls at school. Okay. Can, can you think of other memories that weren't so pleasant? Um, and this actually happened recently, kind of. Um, I was marked as white at my school, at the high school, um, yes. because I'm light skin, I'm white passing. And they never gave me the option to kind of change it until okay. last year. So the whole school marked me as white and kind of just kept it like that for a while. Uh, did they ever change it? And if so, what caused them to change it? Um, they were sending the papers home and that's when I kind of noticed because I didn't know that I was marked as white before. Mm -hmm. I put myself down as white on anything. And last year, I finally changed it and I sent it back to the school. Okay. Okay. How, how, did, how did that affect your interaction with teachers and with your classmates? Um, a lot of my classmates do think I'm white because of how pale I am. And it's it's sort of frustrating sometimes because it's just like, I never felt comfortable in my own skin or like anything like that. And so just like interactions with like my peers and stuff completely changed. And same with my teachers, they would also like, um, one of my teachers, I had her for um, the black experience class and she was a white mm -hmm. teacher. And it was just kind of just like, she didn't, she didn't think that I was black because of how pale I am. And kind of like, I don't think it changed her um, view of me, but it was kind of just like a, she was surprised, I guess. Right, right, right. Wow. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Uh, were you encouraged or discouraged by, by teachers at school? Sometimes. I, I noticed that like in some of my classes that teachers will treat their um, white students, I guess, nicely and kind of be more talkative and 
pay more attention to them. Whereas when I would talk to them or I would do anything, they would kind of be very blunt, very like, oh, cool. And then just, that was it. So I, I, I always um, didn't really feel like welcomed in the class. And that always kind of affected how I learned because I was just like, they don't like me. They're going to fail me anyway, regardless. Okay. Okay. Um, were, were you involved in church or the community or the tribe growing up? Not really. Um, here and there, I went to church frequently, like a lot when I was a child. But um, kind of growing up, I kind of stopped going. Um, I also had a job at the time and going to work and church was kind of a struggle, even though I attempted to go sometimes, it just wouldn't really work out. Okay, okay, wow, wow. Okay, and, and you took advantage that you were able to go to the guild as, as a child and that, that was good. Okay, so can you think of any adults in the community who were especially, you know, supportive of you or who might have inspired you in any way? Um, as a senior, um, we're doing these senior projects mm -hmm. and I have a mentor named Wangi. Okay. And he has really inspired me. Um, we used to meet every Friday to kind of talk about my senior project. And I've learned a lot from him. Okay. A lot. Um, if, and I've learned to be more, I guess, outspoken. Because before I was a little like, I wouldn't talk about like um, certain topics or anything because I would shy away from it thinking that like, they, the person just won't like me. But mm -hmm. now I'm just like, I, uh, this is what I have to say, kind of just like, you know, and it's honestly very encouraging that like, I feel like I can actually make a difference, you know. Okay. Okay. And, cons and, and you just graduated from high school. So that tells me that you're around 18 years old. Uh, considering the various national and, and regional and and local historical events that have been taking place as you've grown up. Have any of these events had any input on you, your family or your community? Yeah, um, kind of like growing up and like all like the events that have happened, there have been like moments of like me and my family kind of being like, well, this is like, this is serious. Um, like how last summer, um, the death of like George Floyd and stuff. Yes. Okay. And all that, and how I just feared for my family because since they're darker than me, that they're more likely to be like treated poorly by police officers or just okay. other people in general. And so, same thing with my um community that kind of was like after the um the summer of 2020 everything just kind of changed a lot um there have been more kids i guess just like you could tell that they didn't really have nice things to say since um i go to a prominent white school right <laughs> yeah okay Wow, wow. Okay, uh, do you have any, any other thoughts or any questions? No. Any, anything else you'd like to express? Nothing that I can think of. Can, can you think of stories that either like your parents, grandparents, or other elders that you know have told you about what happened to them in the past? Any thoughts about that? Yeah. Um, I remember my mom telling me a story about how when she was younger, um, she and 
well, um, my grandpa, obviously, um, I guess they had to go through a certain, they couldn't um, walk through the front door of a house because they were wow. invited to dinner, but they had to go through the back. Oh my goodness, okay. Instead. And kind of that just like, kind of like hit me, like shocked me a lot. I was just like, man, like they were even friends too. Wow. And they were still, they still had to go to the back. Wow, wow. Okay. Um, okay, I can't, I, I wish I could think of something else, but I can't offhand. But, but I, I want to thank you very much for, for participating in, in the interview. Uh, so, well, thank you very much. Um.